Hi everyone, this is Anurag. Today in this session we are going to discuss about creation of directories. As we discussed in our earlier session that Linux operating system treats everything as a file or directory. Okay, so let us see how to create a directory. Okay, there is a command called as mkdir. By using this command we can create a directory. mkdir stands for make directory. So let us see in this tutorial how to create a single directory, how to create multiple directories and also how to create subdirectories, how to how to remove empty directory and directory with contents ok and also several commands that we use let us see in, in this session ok so let us see how to create a single directory when you log in as root user hash prompt appears ok I want to create a directory by we use the command mkdir mkdir space book mkdir space book if you buy this a book directory a directory called book is created now if I give pwd pwd stands for present working directory present working directory so it will show root why because when you log in as root user by default you will be logging into root directory root directory if I give here ls, ls stands for list, list of contents, ok. It will show book directory, it will show several other files and directories, it will show book directory, ok. To go inside this directory, we use the command cd, cd space book, ok. cd stands for change directory, change directory, ok. So, next, if I give here, pwd it will show that you are in root you are in book like this we can create a single directory if you want to create a multiple directories just give this command mk wait a minute mk dir b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 like this these are the names of the directories i have created five directories simultaneously this is how we create multiple directories. Now let us see how to create subdirectories. We can create subdirectories like this mkdir hyphen p disk1 ora data c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 ok. What is mean by this hyphen p option by using this hyphen p option only we can create subdirectories that means in disk 1 there is a directory called as ORA data in ORA data we are creating one more directory called as C1 in C1 C2 in C2 C3 like this in C3 C4 in C4 C5 that means we are creating a directory inside another directory by using mkdir hyphen p ok being in one location we can create directories in other location see here if I give pwd it will still show root and book that means you are present in book directory this book is present in root directory ok being in one location we can create directories in other location by using this option hyphen p now let us see how to how to remove directories so how to remove the directories for example we are in now root book ok cd space disk1 ora data c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 ok by using this we will directly go into c5 directory now we are in c5 directory ok now i want to go come one step back for that we should use the command cd space dot dot it will take us to one step back if you want to come two steps back ok you should give slash dot dot if I give directly cd it will take us to 
home location home directory okay if i just type the command cd it will directly take us to the root directory that is home directory for this root user okay now now let us think that we are in we are in c4 directory we are in disk 1 ora data c1 c2 c3 c4 sorry c5 suppose you are in c5 if you want to come one step back we use the command cd space dot dot as a result you will be in c4 okay here c5 is a empty directory and c3 c2 these are directory with contents okay to remove empty directories we use the command rm dir space directory name to remove empty directories by using the same command can we can we delete a directory which is having contents no we cannot okay for that we use another command called rm space hyphen rf c5 here r stands for recursively and f stands for f stands for forcefully that means the inner directories will be deleted first then it main main directories are removed for that means first c4 for example if you are removing c1 directory it is having okay sorry if you are removing c1 directory okay it is having these contents first this will be removed then this will be removed then this will be removed and then this c1 will be removed this is the meaning of recursively and forcefully understood the concept so let us see the demo session how to create directories so here here i have logged in as root user if i check if i check here pwd it shows that we are in root direct uh, root directory by default root directory here i want to create a directory with the name book mkdr space book that means a directory called book is created still we are in root directory type ls to see the contents okay a directory called book is created now i want to go inside book directory how can i go cd space book this is change directory now pwd it we are it is showing that we are in book book is present in root okay now i want to create multiple directories how can i create mkdir space b1 i am taking the same example b3 b4 b5 like this we can create several directories if you see here it is showing this directories these are separate and separate directories okay now i want to create a directories in another location that two sub directories how can i create first of all i am clearing the screen mkdir space hyphen p disk 1 ora data c1 c sorry c2 c3 c4 c5 like this i have created multiple dire sub directories okay still we are in book directory if i want to go inside disk 1 cd space slash disk 1 in disk 1 if you see ora data directory will be there if you go into inside ora data you can see c1 you are in ora data go inside c1 you can see c2 like this one directory is present in another directory now i am i know the path so i am directly going into c5 directory okay now we are in c5 directory see the contents nothing is there okay so i am clearing the screen here if i give pwd it is showing this directory now i want to come one step back for that we use the command cd space dot dot it shows that we are in c4 directory if you want to come two steps back cd space dot dot slash dot dot it shows that you are in c2 if you see the content c3 is there if i directly give cd it will take us to root directory okay this is how we create sub directories and how to move forward and backwards in directories okay now let us see how to remove directories for that purpose i am again going into c5 directory raw data c c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 okay now we are in c5 directory if you see the contents nothing is there 
okay that means if i is a empty directory if i come one step back i am in c4 if you see the content c5 is there i want to remove this empty directory why can use by using rmdir c5 it will directly remove the contents see here now c5 is not there now i want to move three steps back okay now see we are in c1 if you see the contents c2 is there in c2 c3 is there in c3 c4 is there like this okay if i want to remove this directory which is having contents if we use this command rmdir what will happen it will show that directory is not empty so we should give the command rm space hyphen rf space c1 uh, sorry c2 it will directly remove all the contents okay this stands for recursively and forcefully okay so this is about our session how to create and remove directories let us meet in our next session bye